Now, Ed, we are out here in front of the State House. There's actually a group rallying in front of the State House right now saying that they're going to be camping out there until this bill becomes law, and that could happen as early as tomorrow. The item stands despite the objection of His Excellency the Governor. House lawmakers override Governor Charlie Baker's veto of a bill that would grant driver's licenses to undocumented immigrants. The vote 119 to 36. We made the case that this was a public safety bill, that there are important reasons why folks who are in this status need to be able to travel safely. The governor vetoed the bill, saying it would let people who can't verify their identities receive state IDs. He also said he was concerned non-citizens would vote. There are people already who have green cards and have licenses and, um, and do not vote. 16 and 17 year olds have licenses, they don't vote. The bill requires two forms of ID and one of them must be an unexpired passport or consular ID. And we were able to build support from law enforcement and a lot of groups who want to make sure everyone has a license and, and knows the rules of the road and has insurance. I voted to sustain the governor's veto. Representative Steven Zaros is a former police chief. He's concerned criminals will lie about who they are to get a state ID. To ask our registry of motor vehicles to do that for so many people to make sure they are who they are before they give them a license, that was my big concern. The bill now heads to the Senate where there are enough votes for an override. As long as we get the paperwork and are able to do it tomorrow, I'm hopeful that we'll take it up. So if the Senate does in fact take it up and votes to override, that bill automatically becomes law, but it won't take effect until next year when a new governor is in office. We're live here at the State House. Charmin Skinny, WCVB News Center.